Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by Dr. Mansour al madbouli the Egyptian scientist, joining us all the way from Austria. Dr. Mansour, a very good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, doctor. Thank you. Too. Thank Could you tell you us too. a bit about, uh, you know, how Ramadan is uh, celebrated uh, overseas? I mean, we know in Egypt, uh, a very popular month, a very holy month with its traditional practices. Uh, do these practices carry over to other countries outside uh, and over the seas? Yes, that's what we are doing there too. Ramadan is a very special uh, <coughs> uh, celebration in the year. Yes. Uh, especially when we are we are not in our in our uh, country and abroad, uh, and uh, we have in Austria to uh, try to, uh, to to organize uh, so like like like, uh, like share the star in Ramadan mm -hmm. and um, and meet together and give the, our our kids the second generation the chance get to know each other and uh, it, it's always it, it's a very good opportunity to interact with each other yes that's what we are doing in there mm -hmm. tell me a bit doctor what are some of the most uh, uh, you know important traditions and customs maintained uh, by Egyptians living abroad the most uh, you mean the most important the practices I mean what are the, some of the most popular practices uh, maintained by Egyptian Muslims living abroad in Ramadan, you mean? Yes, of course. Yes, uh, the, the most important issue, you know, for us, the, the scientists abroad or, or you know, Egyptian, is to give our 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 family the chance <coughs> to, inter to interact with each other, mm. to organize uh, first that uh, that you know uh, everybody prepare something and we get together with our different dishes mm -hmm. and meet and and have somebody like. Some years ago, we organized that everybody, everybody give a, like, like a talk about his, uh, about his branch, his specialization. Mm -hmm. Like a doctor in, uh, you know, give, give a seminar about, about, about his work, or like a scientist give a seminar about his work. And that was a very good in Ramadan. Mm -hmm. It was a very big issue. Absolutely. Tell us a bit uh, about other practices that are popular to the holy month of Ramadan. For example, uh, iftars uh, for the needy or the less fortunate. Uh, do you have uh, such uh, practices, uh, charitable practices as well? Yeah, that's what that we we'll have too. Yes, yes, yes. That's mm -hmm. what we, uh, we do there too. Yes, indeed. And are there special stores and shops uh, that sell things just related to the holy month of Ramadan? Yes, yes, every year, mm. every year they get more and more and more. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we have in, 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 the, in the Christmas time, like a calendar for Christmas, mm. you know, this for the entire Christmas time. Now, it's very known in, in uh, Germany and in Austria, Ramadan calendar. Mm -hmm. it, it costs about, about, about 15 euros. For every day, you know the calendar where every day you open like uh, a part in the calendar have something like uh, surprise for you. You know, it's a, it's, it's a very good for kids. Absolutely, yeah. and Indeed. even for 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 others. Absolutely. Just uh, the whole idea of, uh, you know, passing down the traditions to the newer generations that don't live in yes. Egypt, a very important uh, practice indeed. Yes. indeed. I'd like to thank you very, very much, Dr. Mansour al Madbouli, the Egyptian uh, scientist. Thank you so much for joining us, sir, and for your insight. A short break and we'll be right back to continue. Do stay tuned.